Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back for another update. Um, it's been about three, maybe four weeks since I last did one, so I figured I'd just check in. Um, to be honest, not had a bunch of time building, but I have made some progress with the Great War Hobbies 72nd and F14. Um, also got a couple of kits in as well, we'll talk about. Um, not been too much, um, pretty quiet month, but let me switch cameras down to here, and we will, well, first for I switch the cameras down there, um, hopefully see a better picture quality. I have been using a Logitech camera to film these, and especially when I go down to the in, when it's dark and got the lights on and I'm, I'm going down to the models. I know with some of my reviews it's really hard to see the panel lines and stuff. Um, it doesn't show up very good. So um, my, my my phone just broke so I just recently got a new iPhone so I think the picture quality should be a lot better the camera side of things. So um, it's the first video doing it so hopefully you see a better quality as well of camera um, images. So this time we've all switched down, go down to down to the um, the bench and hopefully um, you'll see a little bit better and I'll show you what I've been working on. So. Um, yep, flip it down and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've only been working on one kit since we last spoke about three or four weeks ago, um, and that's been the F14D Tomcat, the 72nd scale one from Great War Hobbies. Um, well, I haven't been working at full time, to be honest with you. I kind of wrapped most of this up a couple of weeks ago, um, but I've been waiting for a canopy mask, and that's took forever to arrive, like almost a month. So I literally have been waiting. i not really had much bench time the last couple of weeks, but the mask finally arrived in the mail yesterday. And I went, cracked on and um, did a lot of painting um, last 24 hours or so. So um, I kind of, this all, so what I did was I built all the sub-assemblies kind of um, before. I think I might have showed you guys these already. Um, and while I was waiting for the canopy, canopy mask. Um, so did the wings. Um, really enjoyed using those um, Trinity Splatter masks by Ushi van der Rosten. These guys. First time using them, um, great. So all you do is you just hold it over and just spray like a different shade and it creates like almost like a salt chipping effect. And already you guys can see, hopefully that this camera is way better than my other camera too. You actually can see the panel lines and stuff. So really happy with how these turned out. Um, great detail for 70 second scales. So the wings are done, everything's done. Um, even deep done little decals, done a wash, um, even done the seats. These are resin aftermarket seats. Um, did the fuel tanks, weathered them up. Gear, exhaust nozzles. This is all ready to go. So basically, um, well, even the pylons and the, the missiles. Uh, the Phoenix missiles, millions of decals on these guys. Focus. focus it um so basically all the sub-assembly stuff's ready to go so all's left with the fuselage just waiting for the canopy mask so once that fuselage is done basically all i need to do is just glue all these bits on and then we're ready we're good to go we're done um it, we do i do need to weather a little bit more once everything kind of goes together a little bit more i'm going to um get some oils out and do a little bit of oil weathering and stuff as well um maybe on the main fuselage but obviously a little bit here on the, the wings and stuff too to, to kind of marry it all up so that's that part um, and then the main fuselage, so it's hard to fit in the shop, there you go. Um, so I started priming it, so as always I use my Mr. Sosa 1500 black, and then I, um, it's all over, and then I pick out the panels with um, white, any color white, just to kind of break it up. And it creates a nice kind of, you see, like, pre-shading effect, real easy. Um, so then what I did was I started with the top was um, Hitaka, the Tomcat blue-gray, I think it's number 46. Um, C46, the lacquer, um, the top, and then Tomcat has lower, it has a low, um, the light ghost gray, and then the front has dark ghost gray, it's kind of hard to see the difference between the two shades, um, I used Tamiya LP lacquer for those, um, great paints, well, these lacquer paints dry pretty much instantly, so it meant within, you know, a few minutes of painting it, I could literally mask it and, and go with the other color, um, so I did that, and then I masked and painted the, um, the front black, um, one thing to note too is the Great War Hobbies instructions weren't, I don't really trust them that much in terms of color schemes. Um, the color seemed a little bit out. It just had light, light gold, ghost gray and dark ghost gray. Had no, no, no mention of the, um, the FS. Let me check real quick. I think it's this FS 35237, which is a standard kind of top medium gray for a Tomcat. Um, so what I did was I went on scale mates and I just pulled the, um, the Tamir 
Um, it's 48 scale instructions, and I just kind of use those for the color 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 schemes and the um, the where the lines, you know, where the, where the colors end and when you want the demar demarcation lines and stuff. So I use that, um, which I thought was more accurate. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, what I did then was um, same as wings. I used a splatter mask. I just sprayed on different colors. I think access 19, a light gray, a red brown, all different, all over. Um, it's hard to see the camera, but you know it's more subtle. But all you know, basically creates like a nice weathered kind of effect all over. Um, bottom a little bit more dirtier. And then these back parts here, which are carbon fiber, I use my go-to carbon fiber, which is um, XF eighty four or eighty four, I think it is dark iron, um, maybe eighty five. I think it's eighty four um, for the, the back. So I must. So the whole reason um, I didn't put the tails tail planes on was the um, it make it tricky to to paint those. So now they're painted. You know, it makes it a lot easier. Just this, these just go sit right on over top of that. Um, hand painted. This part's red and a few little parts white. Um, just with um, Vallejo Model Air, that's really easy to hand paint with, even though it's an airbrush paint. Um, so that's kind of where I am. Um, I wasn't. I kind of took a, a sponge down, a sanding sponge, and just worn down the line a little bit to kind of wear it down a little bit, down between the black and the gray to kind of blend it in a little bit more. Um, obviously, it needs all the decals, um, the bounty hunters, so it's really going to pop. Um, but I'm really happy how that's looking. Um, nice and weathered the way I was like wanting it. Um, and then to kind of give you an idea, so the wings will go on. Go in here like this. And all the rest of the stuff. So it's a good size. Um, it's going to be almost a foot long and probably almost a foot wide um, with the wings extended. There's such great detail on these wings. I had to have the flaps and slats extended. It just, it'd be a tragedy if I didn't. It does have a radar in here too, but I'm not big on radars. Um, the nose cones up. I think it kind of affects the aesthetics of the aircraft. So um, I just glued the nose cone on with no ra radar in there. But you, if you wish, you could have the nose cone up too with this kit. Um, great kit. Um, goes to have a fantastically amazing detail. Um, once I get a panel line wash on this, well, after, so next up is um, the decals. It meant to be a panel, and then I'll clear coat it again, then do um, a panel line wash. And you'll see all, all this kind of great, very fine detail you're going to see um, really nicely too. It's really going to pop. Um, and then Saving oil, um, whether it looks some oils, five or two oils, um, and then we should be good to go. So, um, that's really like it. What I've been working on, like I said, I'll be waiting for this mask. Um, this can be masked, took like four weeks to arrive. Um, but I finally got it. Um, uh, last couple of weeks, I was thinking about starting something else, but I just don't want like starting models when I already have some, um, on the go. And I'm really cut into this one right now, so I'm glad I didn't. So, I kind of held back, didn't do much work the last couple of weeks, so now I'm kind of all full steam ahead. So this had um this did have a clear coat um to be honest i did clear coat lp9 um gloss but then i wasn't quite happy with some of the weathering it, it i kind of didn't look quite look as weather as i liked so i went over and did some more weathering on this so it probably needs another clear coat um although saying that um it is lack of paint which is pretty smooth and there's not really much in the way of decals on top of the aircraft just a few like um stencil data and stuff uh, most of it's going to go down the side here so i probably won't clear coat it again i'll probably just go ahead and put the decals on and clear coat over top of those um with a again lp9 so i can get the, the sort of wash will come off real easy i'll use a clay wash um so I'll get this panel lines get the wash off and then i'll do a probably a flat or a sand coat and then use the oils so the oils will stick to the if i use oils on the gloss coat it'll just rub right off so um that's kind of my game plan um i say not too much work left on this guy it's, you know it's a nice size 70 second scale but once this is done um, that part's done and then it's just really just plug and play so I've got to just glue the exhaust on uh, put the wings in the gear the ordnance that kind of stuff and it should be pretty quick moving so um, yeah really happy it's a great kit highly recommend it um, instructions are crap but hey that's great great war hobbies for you but other than that it's um, a really enjoyable kit um, I did get it on deal of day from Sprue Brothers for about thirty three ninety nine. I've seen it a couple of times since then on deal of day as well so it does come up quite regularly um i certainly wouldn't pay 60 dollars for it i think it's kind of expensive for the scale but you know 33 dollars is definitely a great price for this um tons of detail tons of plastic um and i highly recommend it so that's it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch the camera back to me and then we're gonna talk about um some of the kits i bought um the last few weeks since we last spoke so um i'll turn the camera back and i'll see you in a minute so there you go. Um, like I said, not that much bench time, but really happy the way things are going. I didn't want to start another kit because I was so kind of engrossed with that one. I just wanted to get that one finished before I start something else. Um, so it's coming along nicely next week. 
should be finished. Um, just decals, um, and some weathering and put everything together. It should be done. Um, so let's talk about some of the kits I received in the last month. Um, so I've got three kits and a couple of other little things. Um, not too much. So first one, another one of these guys. Um, last month I got I got one of these. Um, it's only $16. So I figured, hey, just get another one. Get these while you can because, you know, Revell, um, you know, stuff sells out pretty quick. Um, well, once stuff sells out, you don't really make it much anymore. It's really hard to get. So um, I've got two of these now. So um, probably at least one be a GR4. Maybe maybe do a GR1. If not, do a 4 and maybe a 4A. But um, if not, it's a spare. So if I screw up that one, at least I have some spare parts. So that's the first one I got. The second kit I got, I actually did a review of this one already. This guy. Um, loving the... Tomcat build so much, it's so much detail in there, it's looking great. So I thought, you know what, look at this brand new kit. So it's the SU35S Flanker E. Um, couple of schemes. I'll probably go with this one, the eggplant, or you've got the that one. Well, that one's a Syrian one um, for the Syrian conflict, so maybe that one would be cool too. But another great kit. Um, this is the last video I think I did about two or three weeks ago. Um, go ahead and check out that one. Um, it's great plastic, um, just like the Tomcat, looks fantastic, a lot of detail. Um, only semi-second scale, but this is a big aircraft again, so it's going to be you know, at least a foot long. It's going to be a decent size, so, um, yep, so that was the second kit I got. And the last kit I got, another semi-second scale one, is this guy. The little brand new Edward release, the MiG 21PFM. Um, I really got, bought this one because of the box up. I, I, I'm not a huge MiG 21 fan, but... This one really caught my eye. I really like the white scheme. It kind of brings me back to the um, the World Cup back in I think the year now, probably about like late nineties, early nineties or something. When it, it just really reminds me of the German West with the West German um, soccer or football, depending on the world um, jersey, the soccer soccer shirt. Um, it just reminds me of that. Actually, maybe it's like 88 or something like that, but whatever year it was. Um, so I really like this one. Profi pack. So these are great little kits. Um, has the, the mask set in there. Has um, color PE set. Um, just add a couple of little things to it. Um, I bought the metal the metal master antenna because this one has quite a big, this aircraft has quite a big antenna. And I did buy, um, just ordered the Brazen um, exhaust, resin exhaust too. Um, but this again, another real cheap kit. It's for like $20 or something, but another semi-second kit. So I um, see a theme going here. So the last few weeks, I've just been really stacking up on semi-second kits. I do have plenty of 48th um, and some 32nd in my stash, but um, just really enjoying this right now. I guess while my eyes are still good, I, I do all I can. So um, that's the third kit I got. Um, the next thing I got, more of a tool. So if I put my order in, um, I know it's one of these guys. So I got this, which is a miter box. This was only like aluminum or aluminium, like we are on the world miter box. Um, it was only like six dollars or something, but it's you know it's metal, so really it's not that big, but really it helped with the uh, when cutting the, the block resin block off of projection seats, that kind of stuff. Um, you just stick your razor saw in between and you just get a straight cut or diagonal cut, whatever you want to do. So it's real cheap. And I saw it, thought, yeah, I love my tools, so I picked that guy up. So that's really the only tool I've picked up the past few weeks. Um, and then final thing I got is one of these, well actually three of these, so these um, Trumpeter, this is the biggest they do for the aircraft um, display case. Um, I, I hope you saw my old video, I, I have one for my um, 48 Tomcat, Tomcat, I'm um, sorry, Hornet, um, just barely fits in there. So, but these are great little cases, to keep dust off. Um, these, like I say, this is the biggest one, they're about, um, I think it says dimensions on the, um, 316 millimeters by 276 millimeters by 136 millimeters. Um, but these are great for smaller 48 aircraft or semi seconds. So, my plan with this is um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that Hornet, I'm getting confused with Hornet and Tomcat. So, the Tomcat I'm doing, um, when that's finished, I'm gonna all those coastal kits um, like carrier base, like a kind of foam base, like an aircraft carry deck. I'm gonna stick it to the, the base of this. It's almost the same size, and then put my aircraft on top. So I think it'll look real neat, kind of like display. And plus, it keeps all dust off, um, keeps it protected. Stops the kids kind of probing a bit and that kind of stuff. So I got got one of those. I got two of those, and three of those. <laughs> These aren't very expensive at all. I think all three were about fifty dollars shipped. Um, 
but again, you know, this will keep me busy for a while and really keeps, you know, I have this play cabinet, but it's also nice on my shelf here just to keep these guys in the um, case. Actually, you know, I just got right there. I'll just grab it and show you guys real quick. So there you go, that's one of these kit right here. So this is my Hornet. You've seen this guy's before in a previous video. Um, it's kind of wedged in there and just fits. This is 48 Hornet, but again, like the 72nd Tomcat and some smaller aircraft will fit in here, no problem at all. But yeah, these are really cool little cases, just deep, like plastic. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna put like a base on the bottom and it'll, it'll look pretty nice. So I got three of those um, and that's really been it. So just a really quick update. Um, my plans for the next few weeks is really um, what is upcoming week, I should pretty much get a Tomcat finally finished after about six weeks. Um, once that's off the off the bench and I'll get cracking with something else, I'm not quite decided yet what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm still not working on the 109, the 30 second scale one. Um, that, that's not been touched since you guys seen it last. Um, it's a great kit, it's just I haven't got a mojo for that right now. I need to do some research, I need to um, really look at some colours, um, the cockpit, that kind of stuff. I'm just not in the mood for researching stuff right now. So. Um, that's just still in the box. I can see it right here. Um, I'll pick it up at some point this year, but um, I'll probably build. Hmm, it's a tough one. Um, I've got an eye on that that Sheridan um, rifle models kit. I've been an armor kit for a while, so I might give that a shot. Um, if not, it'll probably be maybe the Meg right here, or maybe a semi second um, Tornado GR4. Um, guys, if you get any ideas, if you want to help me along, just post in the comments below. Um, I'll get starting on that next build probably, um, will I say with next week, um, but this should be take too long. So, um, like I said, say Tomcat's almost finished, just a few more hours work and that one's done. Um, so that's it. So again, hopefully this video is better. Um, the audio is okay. Hopefully the camera is a little bit better. Um, thank you again for watching. Um, please, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll be back in maybe two or three weeks later with a, um, Another update, and you can see what I'm working, see the finish, hopefully the Tomcat will be finished, and you can see what else I'm working on next. Um, if I get the other cool kits in the next couple of weeks, I might do a review video. I do have um, a couple of things in the mail, so kind of cool stuff, so I might do another review video you might see in the next, next couple of weeks too. Um, but anyway, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Um, take care, and see you next time. Bye.